Hey you guys and welcome back. Today I am carrying on with my lipstick favorite color series. I actually posted a video back, I think it was in May or June, on my favorite coral lipstick color. Today I'm going to do my favorite red and red orange and orange colored lipsticks from the drugstore. This is one of my favorite colors to wear in the summer, which is why I wanna film it now before we get into fall, since the days just seem to be going by so quickly lately. All of the colors that I'm sharing with you today are from the drugstore. I will be swatching them on my lips as well as on the back of my hand, and I'll give you guys an overview of each of the colors and the formulas. That's pretty much it. Let me know what color you would like to see next. I have done a whole bunch of colors already except that now I'm kind of doing a pared down version of that and trying to pick around five shades only from each color family anyway thank you guys for watching and let's go ahead and get started I know that this color can be very unpopular because it does make your teeth yellow or more yellow I think this color just looks good on my skin tone which is why I don't really mind that it makes my teeth look yellower the color just seems to work so well with medium skin tones tan skin tones honestly I feel like it would work with every skin tone the only one I'm not sure about is if you have very cool undertones rather than warm or yellow undertones. I'm gonna start with the reddish colors and then go into oranges at the end. This first one is the L'Oreal, I think, oh my god, what are these called? These are called their Signature Rouge Matte Lipsticks. They're a very, very thin liquid lipstick formula. They've almost got that blotted consistency to it like they're so thin they feel like water and they do dry down matte this one in particular is in the shade I don't it is a red but it's got that red orange vibe to it it's not like a pure red lipstick and I want to categorize it in this video it definitely pulls more orangey red on my lips formula is great I really like it they don't last the longest on my lips but they feel very comfortable they don't dry out my lips they don't transfer actually I can't remember if they transfer or not I feel like they don't transfer either way it's a really nice high quality formula and I love the shade I don't it's very fun and perfect for the summer next I have a classic in my opinion it's a classic and this is the Maybelline craving coral matte lipstick this is part of their creamy matte collection and I've had this one for a very very long time I don't even know how long but I want to say like three years two and a half years it's such a nice formula if you haven't tried the creamy mattes for Maybelline totally recommend you go pick them up at least one of the shades it's a very very good formula and I feel like it was one of the first matte lipstick formulas at the drugstore. Craving Coral is a beautiful shade. It's not quite as deep as I don't from L'Oreal. I think of it more as like a red orange shade, which is why it's in this video, not my coral video. Formula is great. It's completely matte. It's comfortable on your lips. It doesn't dry them out and it has really good pigmentation as well. If you haven't tried one of the creamy mattes, pick one up for sure. And I would totally recommend Craving Coral because that's one of my favorite like bullet forms of the red orange lipstick shade. Okay, next up we have this one, which is from Revlon. This is one of their Hyper Matte Lip Mousses in the shade Scorpion Red. I think I've worn this in a video recently, I can't remember. It's definitely intense, it's almost neon. Actually, I would, I would say it is neon, it's not almost neon. It's like a neon orange red shade. It's beautiful, I love the shade so much, and I really like the formula of the Hyper Mattes as well. It's much better than their regular matte lipsticks that come in this packaging. It's way more matte, it's way more long wearing, and it just looks better on my lips for some reason. It does have that powder matte finish, so if you don't like that feeling, of powderiness or if you don't like it looking a little dry on your lips I wouldn't recommend this but if you do this is definitely a long wearing powder matte finish it is intense and it is very red orange but in the summertime it's like the perfect fun nighttime summer shade I love it I think it looks beautiful with tan skin with some gold or bronze eyeshadow I really can't think of anything bad to say about these the smell is probably the worst part it's quite sweet so if you don't like that sweet scent you probably wouldn't like this but other than the smell the formula is great and the color is beautiful I love it so much now we're going into more of the orangey shades this one is the one I'm wearing on my lips right now it's still that red orange but it's definitely more orange than the previous three and this is the wet n wild megalass liquid catsuit 
matte liquid lipstick in the shade flame of the game not my favorite formula i have to be completely honest with you guys the wet and wild formula of liquid lipsticks is just not my favorite i remember when they first came out everybody loved them and ranted and raved about them so i picked a couple of the shades up and i just wasn't a fan like I feel like they're a little bit streaky they don't last very long they're just not the same quality as other liquid lipsticks at the drugstore and I know they're very very cheap so I don't want to take away from the fact that they're very affordable they're just I feel like there's better options out there at the drugstore now at least for liquid lipsticks but this is flame of the game and the color is so good so I had to include it in this video even though it is a little bit streaky and you can kind of see my lip color coming through I just love the shade so much it's so fun it's so summery i feel like this is one of those shades that isn't hard to wear like it's not that orange that people will kind of look at you funny if you're walking down the street it's also not too red it's just that perfect in between it's a little bit muted so that makes it more wearable like wearing it to work would be totally fine in my case i wouldn't feel uncomfortable throughout the day of course the formula like i mentioned is not my favorite but i kind of make do with the streakiness and the pigmentation because i love the shade one good thing about it is that it's transfer proof like it's not gonna transfer on the back of your hand. So that's good. It's just the overall like streakiness of it that kind of makes me not reach for these lipsticks that much. But if you like that red orange lip look, definitely get flame of the game. You will not be disappointed. Okay, we are almost done. I feel like this went by actually surprisingly very fast. I just have two more shades. I tried to get this down to just five colors but i ended up having to include six this one is the milani color statement lipstick in the shade sweet nectar and this is definitely orange this is such a fun color and such a fun formula as well it's not matte so it gives your lips that beautiful like juicy sheen and the color is orange so that makes it look even more juicy not for everyone i know that a lot of people don't like orange lipsticks for not being a matte lipstick the milani color statements are very long wearing they feel comfortable on my lips they have really really good pigmentation the only thing i don't like is the smell because it smells like candy I always think of that bubblegum watermelon flavor i hated that watermelon bubblegum so the smell isn't great but the color and the formula is awesome so if you are an orange lipstick lover this should definitely be in your collection and last but not least is a newer edition but an automatic favorite and this is the nyx powder puff lippy this is their powder lip cream it's kind of a strange formula and packaging not a fan of the actual packaging of this and this one is in the shade crushing hard despite the fact that i don't like the packaging like it comes in this weird spongy tip and you have to squeeze it out and it's kind of hard to get the product to even come out in the first place despite that i love the formula it's such a nice powder finish and you guys know i think i've been talking about it for so long now but i love powder mattes on my lips and this one is like the ultimate powder matte i kind of went crazy with the swatch but this is it right here completely matte it looks like a powder it feels comfortable on your lips it does not dry them out it's kind of that muted orange shade that i just love so much it's not hard to wear it's not hard to pull off the only thing i don't like about the formula is that it doesn't last super long like you definitely bring this with in your purse if you're going to be eating or wearing it for a very long time other than that i love this lipstick i love this shade i want to pick up more colors from this powder lip puff thingy i feel like nyx has something really good going on here all right that sums up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you liked my picks and found this video helpful if you like orange lipsticks let me know and if you have any suggestions for me to try from the drugstore also leave a comment so that i can go check them out other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i'm sorry for the lack of videos lately i really really am sorry but I'm just trying to get through these two courses that I'm taking and then we'll be home free and I'll be able to post more and I'll have more time to work on my stuff. But thank you for hanging in there. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one.